Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about anatomy of nervous system. So anatomy of nervous system, uh, when we uh, go for an interview, they will be asking you to say about any one system. So that you have to talk about that system nearly for two minutes so that you will have a proper explanation regarding that system so whenever you are beginning with the system you have to talk about the functions first first we'll see the functions of nervous system the functions of nervous system are first one is monitoring changes second one is interpretation of sensory input third one is effect responses fourth one is mental activity fifth one is hemostasis so in monitoring changes mainly these changes are called as stimuli they gather information um, is called as sensory input and second you can see the definitions for all those so next anatomy of nervous system the nervous system can be divided into two that is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system the central nervous system has brain and spinal cord the peripheral nervous system has cranial nerves and spinal nerves the peripheral nervous system is again divided into autonomic nervous system and sensory nerve somatic nervous system autonomic nervous system controls the heart muscle smooth muscles gland somatic nervous system voluntary skeletal muscle and then central nervous system as we said the central nervous system is divided into brain and spinal cord the brain controls the thinking learning movement and feel the spinal cord carries a message back forth and between the brain and the nerves that runs throughout the body so both the brain and spinal cord are protected by the bone bone is protected by the skull and spinal cord is protected by the vertebrae that is a ring shaped uh, thing and uh, when coming to the brain the brain is divided into three parts that is cerebrum cerebellum and uh, brain stem so talking about the cerebrum cerebrum is the biggest part of the brain a larger part of the cerebrum is called the cerebral cortex that is a gray matter the cerebral cortex have four area that is called as lobes that is frontal lobe parietal lobe temporal lobe and occipital lobe and you have to see what are the functions of these four lobes and next uh, the uh, cerebrum has um, two halves that is called as hemisphere a band of nerve fibers that is a corpus callosum connects them in the middle which let them the exchange of information the left hemisphere controls the movement of the right side of the body and the right hemisphere controls the movement of the left side of the body so next we have to talk about the uh, brain stem brain stem connects the brain and the spinal cord it is made up of pons the medulla and the midbrain the, these parts work together to control and coordinate the message going in and out of the brain the brain stem also controls many body functions that we often uh, don't think about like breathing heart rate blood pressure swallowing and uh, digestion so these all about the uh, brain stem so next uh, you have to add one more point about the cerebellum behind the cerebrum is the cerebellum the cerebellum is also called as a little brain because it looks like a small version of the cerebrum it is responsible for the balance movement and uh, coordination of the body so whenever you are talking about each system no like you have to remember the diagram which is um, given so that you can easily collect the points and say other structure of brain uh, brain includes uh, thalamus hypothalamus and pituitary gland thalamus receive message about the senses like vision hearing touch that coming from eye ear and finger the hypothalamus control the pulse thirst appetite sleep pattern and process that happens automatically pituitary gland which makes hormone that controls growth metabolism water mineral balance sexual maturity and responses to the stress next you have to talk about the parts of spinal cord the spinal cord is a long bundle of nerve tissue in adult it is 18 inches long and half inch thick okay and the brain stem down towards the neck the spinal cord has three section that is the cervical spinal cord thoracic and the lumbar sacral spinal cord cervical spinal cord uh, sends the nerves to the face and the neck thoracic sends to the arms chest and abdomen lumbar uh, sends to the body so next you have to talk about the cranial nerve there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves um, serves the head and the neck first one is olfactory second one is optic third one is oculomotor fourth one is trochlea fifth one is trigeminal sixth one is abducens and hereby i have given the definitions for all the uh, nerves so that you have to make a note of it and understand for what all these are used and next seventh one is facial nerves eighth one is vestibular cochlear nerve ninth one is glossopharyngeal nerve 10th one is vagus nerve and 11th one is accessory nerve and 12th one is 
hypoglossal nerve so for these also i have uh, given the definitions so that you can uh, understand it and make a note of it so while preparing it will be really helpful for you so, so that's all about the nervous system thank you so much for watching my video and uh, make a note of all those things and uh, while preparing the interview make use of all these points so that it will be really helpful for you and wish you all the best for your interview if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe my channel take care bye bye